prosthesis can give you that encouragement you need, that confidence that you need to face your life, to avoid unwanted questions, just to go back to your normal life. And that's what we do here. I'm Maria Herrera Villalba. I'm a maxillofacial prosthetist here at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. I'm actually a trained dentist, and when I was looking for a postgraduate course, I came across maxillofacial prosthetics and was like, hmm, it looked like fun. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, from the day one, the first prosthesis that I had to paint was an eye, and I was mesmerized by the process. I was kind of artistic during my childhood, but nothing like so detailed as an eye. And then we tried it on a patient, and I could see how his face just light up. And that feeling is something that I will never forget. Everything is sculpted by hand. And then we adjust the colors, so we need to add the texture, we need to add the details, even the wrinkles, and adding especially the eyelashes. It starts to look alive, and, and you can see how it like lightens up. When a prosthesis goes unnoticeable, then you realize you did a good job, because nobody knows it's there. I literally still have goosebumps every time I remember what I get to do every day. Hello, how are you? Hi, how, how are you doing? Most of my patients come to me after a long way of medical treatment, difficult experiences. And this prosthesis, it's like a lifeline for them. It's not just an object. You are actually creating something so important for a person that it goes bigger than a physical thing. Put your head back, please. Move to my side. Thank you. And for that, you will need to actually sit in front of the patient, get to know them, and understand what will truly make them feel whole again. It's a work of art, though, really. I mean, it's just so well done. You're going to be known as an artist. How has it improved your life? I can go out and, you know, not, not um, upset people or have people stare or glare, you know. They wouldn't know now. I mean, I, it, it's very hard to tell that that's the, the bad eye. I mean, this looks like it's the bad eye. And I've grown to work with uh, no peripheral vision, but my wife often sneaks up on that side. Oh, I, I won't comment on <laughs> After the operation, he was quite self-conscious and worried that other people would be more upset about it than he was, especially the grandchildren. No, but they were fantastic. And once he accepted that, it was, it was just plain sailing. Oh, this just opens everything up. It really does. You go back to really living, you know, without having a care in the world, really. This service is actually invaluable because it doesn't only help with the physical, but also the psychological and emotional part of it, because we help them reintroduce themselves to the society. I kind of felt like an alien in a sense, because I was missing a part. Even though other people can't see or don't know, it can make me feel less confident as a person. Even though I'd had my breast reconstructed, it still wasn't complete. So I'd felt empty. I wouldn't let my partner look at them because you just, you don't feel whole, you don't feel comfortable. You lose a part of yourself, you just lose self-esteem. It gave me that little bit of self-esteem back. It made me feel, you know, more whole. It may not be the real deal, but whether it's underneath your clothes or in a visual position. It gives you that confidence back to be able to walk around and feel like you again. 
So it's really important that we have this service here and we want every Queenslander to know that this service exists because it's free, it's for them. So your GP or any specialist, any doctor that is treating you can refer you to us and then we will have an evaluation and help you with the best possible way. It's an honor for me to be part of their journey. So I stay to a high standard because even for me, it's the 100, 200 processes. For them, it's their only one. So they don't deserve any less than my best.